Seth, you played uh, career hot 33 minutes in successive nights. Did, was it was it draining? Was it? I mean, was it harder to get your shot down toward the end because of fatigue? No, no. Uh, fatigue didn't lose us the game. Uh, I mean, we missed shots. We missed easy bunnies in the first and second half, but I can't say I was tired. I played however many games now, 30 plus minutes, 29 plus minutes, so used to it. But another hole and you couldn't get out of, what, what was going on when they got the big lead there? In the uh, no half? pride defensively. Simple as that. Guys don't want to guard. That's the outcome that's going to happen every, I mean, each and every time. Guys can guard this team. I know guys can. I've seen in practice. I've seen in other games. Uh, but if we don't want to play with the defensive pride, that's going to be that same outcome uh, each and every night. Seems like they were, they were passing out at the double teams a lot and getting open shots. Is that what you were seeing? Sure. Yeah. Sure. No pride. No. I mean, that's as simple as that. Did anybody have words about that in the locker room at halftime? Yeah. Yeah. We had our words. We spoke to each other. But what we said in the locker room was going to stay there. What about offensively? What, what do you think? Uh, it wasn't cohesive, cohesive a lot of the time. What do you think was going on half court for offense? Ball was sticking, and they took us out of our offense, but we let them take us out of our offense. Uh, it's kind of just like they punched, and we didn't want to punch back. Simple as that. You know, the ball stuck, and that's, I mean, if I'm playing the team, that's what I want to have. And I want the ball to stick in one person's hand for 25 seconds, and that's kind of how we played the whole game. So. Yeah, only seven assists. It just seemed like it wasn't a lot of team play. A lot of one-on-one. -on -one. Is that what you think happened? Uh, yeah. I mean, it wasn't on. It wasn't on purpose. It wasn't intentional. No, nobody was being purposely selfish. Uh, but like I said, it took us out of offense, and we let them. Like I said, we didn't have pride on the defensive end nor on the offensive end. So that's what's going to happen. Is that the biggest thing that bothers you? Is maybe feeling like they were the aggressor, and you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm really bothered. I feel like for the first time, guys didn't punch back at all today. Uh, we had maybe a good punch back early in the first half, maybe mid first half, but you know, the effort that we gave today, I mean, that, that'll be the result each and every time we continue to get that effort. Yeah, I feel like you shrunk a little bit to the challenge, I guess. As a team? Yeah, I, mean, what, I guess so. Is that what you're saying? I guess so, I lost by 13. How do you feel about the third place game coming up against Michigan State? I know that's not where you want to be, and you have to sort of regroup quickly here. Yeah, we're on to the next. Uh, it's a good learning lesson for us. Uh, but, you know, as soon as we leave this bus and we leave this gym, I can't think about this game anymore. So, Michigan State, they're a really good team. Uh, they play in the trenches, you know, from last year. It was yeah. a really tough game. So, we want to win. We're going to have to wake up uh, from today. As simple as that. Agreed. What, can you put your finger on what is happening in terms of the slow starts? Or the starts not being where you want them to be because this is, as y'all said, this is this is not sustainable. Obviously. Yeah, I think teams teams do start off really hot uh, against us. You know, I won't say like we're necessarily turning the ball over a lot in the first half or taking bad shots. I don't know. I can't really answer. I think offensively we get, we get what we want. Uh, but that pride that I've been talking about, we gotta just, we gotta bring that from the get. We gotta bring that from the start, we gotta bring that from the jump, because that's what it is. You think the defensive intensity isn't there at the beginning of games lots of times? Yeah, 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 it's not, it's not. I think I just said that, if I'm not mistaken, but yeah. it's not. What, did, did you feel like they're, really, they're a big team? I mean, I think six four is the smaller starter. You got Miles Kelly 6'6", six, six, and then number 10, 6'7". I felt like maybe their length from some of those ball screens you guys are trying to work. RJ's not the biggest, Elliot's not the biggest. You feel like their length was, was bothersome. Well, they guys. weren't the problem. We were the problem in the ball screens. Uh, like I said, the ball was sticking in each other's hands, and we weren't getting the ball out quick enough. They were putting two on us, all ball screens, so the advantage was there. All we got to do was get the ball out, but it's not necessarily what we were doing. It went bad from there. Yeah. What was Coach Davis' message to you all after the game? Uh, they played harder. The harder team they played, harder won. Uh, but we got to respond. Uh, we got a quick turnaround. Michigan State, they play in the trenches. So we want to win. We're going to have to make a full 360. What do you want to see change? You're, 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 just, you're bothered, I know. I just want pride defensively. Uh, 
I don't think we're bought in as a team defensively. That's something I really take pride in. Uh, I know I'm scoring more. I know I may not have stepped into the challenge as much defensively, but I feel like it's still there for me. And it's just sometimes it's just as a team, we just don't have it. I got to do better as a leader to continue to bring that, but we just got to fight. You know I mean, it's as simple as that. We got to fight. If we don't, it's embarrassment for I mean, this, this logo, this name on our jersey. So sorry if you asked this already, but obviously I know you guys wanted to come away with Maui and with the championship. You do have the third place game tomorrow. I guess kind of what's the process of mentally recalibrating, just understanding, you know, there is another opportunity to get a win on the record and, and everything like that. Yeah, we have no choice but to, like you said, recalibrate, you know, our brains and our mental. Uh, we have to. If we're moving about this game, come tomorrow, we're going to mess around and lose again. So. I was just telling them, uh, Michigan State is a team that they play in the trenches all game every day. Uh, we know from last year, so we know this won't be a surprise. So we got to make a full 360. Like we got to completely turn things around if we want to see a good outcome tomorrow. Based on, I guess, the way the first couple games of this tournament started, you know, going behind and, and having the holes and things like that. You did touch on it some yesterday. Uh, what do you think specifically you all need to kind of do to, to kind of get back on the right track and get some more confidence in the game? Bring energy. And, have pride. I mean, I think it's as simple as that. We bring energy and, you know, we fight on the defensive end to start the game off. It doesn't matter if we're missing to make the shots because we're going to be doing what we need to do. That's where it starts for us. That's where it starts with every good team. Uh, we just got to bring it. We're not the biggest team and we know that. And we fought before. We saw pride before. And we've been a very, strong, a very strong team before, but it just wasn't there tonight for some reason. I know Johnny Broom is a great player. I mean, that's, that's a given. But the way he was able to get going quickly and also start talking to people and sort of, you know, feel, feel himself a little bit, did you feel like they fed off some of his energy, the way he got going quickly? Absolutely. Absolutely. If one of our guys got going quickly and they started, honestly, just baby another team, I, mean, shit, I, I yeah. get going too. So I'm sure they definitely did. Uh, I think it helped us get going a little bit. I mean, President, he's an amazing player, but you know, him talking kind of got some of us players going, but I mean, it wasn't enough, obviously. So, yeah. yeah. I feel like Elliot's obviously one of you guys' best players. I mean, do you think he's gotten off track in this tournament from the way he played the first couple games? Last night was a struggle, and, you know, tonight wasn't his greatest either. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I love Elliot. Uh, with the ball in his hands. I want the ball in Elliot's hands. I want Elliot running on offense. So I don't want anything to change. He just got to continue staying aggressive. Uh, I think he just needs to see a couple shots go down maybe. I guess if he's struggling, he's going to be just fine. I mean, he's kind of the anchor of this team. So we're going to need him. And, you know, he knows that. Yeah. You know, we take the notes over there. Uh, you didn't get a shot for the first eight minutes of the game. Um, was that too long, do you think, for a guy of your caliber? Uh, we were getting good shots. Obviously, I wanted to kind of get going as soon as I can, but I think we were getting some good shots. Uh, but the ball is also sticking a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the game just flows. You know, if I don't get a shot in the first eight minutes, to me, it's just meant to be. You know, yeah. if I don't get a shot all game, it's just meant to be. Because uh, I love my teammates. I love when they're being aggressive. I love when they're putting up shots. Uh, as long as they're taking the right shots, and for the most part, they did. So, wanted to get going sooner, but, you know, I live with it. Seth, thank you. Appreciate you talking.